people, quietly or politely. <laughs> if you've been here before, you know that's a downright dirty lie. <laughs> Whew. I feel like Lou Reed or Tom Waits on the mic right now, I don't know why. You're not picking up on that at all. You're like, no, I don't think so. So I'll shut the persona now. I'm back to being Garland. So we have four performances for you tonight. Um, Teresa always wants you to be sexy early in the show, so here we go. And I always forget, I just end up being ridiculous and Silly and charming, and have all is forgiven. No one ever remembers that host should be sexy. <laughs> Speaking of sexy, my pronouns are they, them. Thanks for asking. Feel f oh, good, that was nice. Um, I encourage you to ask others theirs before, you know, assuming. Assuming is not sexy. Asking pronouns is sexy. Asking questions in general is sexy, I think. Unless it's a stupid one, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Are you overwhelmed by the sexiness right now? Yes. Should, yes. should I put it away? <laughs> oh, that was gross. That was crazy. That was, see? It's a fine line. Um, so yes, we have four performances for you tonight. I'm getting back on track. Um, if you're not familiar, each night is a brand new lineup. So some performers will have already performed, but it's with all new people. So I would recommend coming back to tomorrow night or Saturday night, but they're sold out, so watch the video. <laughs> Look through the photo montage slideshow when it gets released. You can fill in the captions what you think was going on. Oh, what did Garland say in that picture? Good fun. We'll host an event here where we do that. The guessing game. <laughs> so that's great though, that we're sold out. It means people are coming and coming back, and most importantly, it means they're vaccinated. Thanks for being here and being vaccinated. <laughs> I would say it looks like we're slowly crawling out, but, <sighs> but you're vaccinated, that's great. Thanks for doing that. Um, so, we have four performers. Um, I'm really excited for them. I've seen all of them but one. But I know the artists and they're nice. So I think it'll be a wonderful experience I'm looking forward to. I don't write anything down, so the words are coming out my mouth. I'm like, oh, gosh. So, um, this is a donation bar. Uh, last week in Marker, I wrote real, because people thought it was a prop or a set piece. So between performances, I'll roll it out like it is now, and if you want to drink, come hang out with me. I've got Evan Williams. Um, someone asked me for a finger of Evan Williams, which I, first time I heard, so if you want some fingers of Evan Williams, you know where to, you know where to catch, you know where to catch me. And then there are uh, fingers and whole hands of beers and hard seltzers, white claws over there. And next to it are the non-alcoholic things. <laughs> and it's all donation based. So you can throw some doll hairs in my little bin. Or if you have the Venmo, it's at the Brick Theater, E-R. Uh, Venmo now has a business category. Did you know that? Yeah, some savvy people in the front row. <laughs> if those are not savvy and need help, come to the front row, they'll help you. It's now divided into people and business. Please select business for the Brick Theater because this is a business. You can tell how professional I am at the workplace. Because I'm working, this is work. <laughs> so, that's the bar. There's no intermission. So if you need to, you know, use a bathroom, it's behind the risers, it's a white door. Um, find a time to go that's not during a performance. I don't think most of the performers would enjoy a flushing toilet during their performance this evening. 
I mean, last night we had a, a whole show about farts, so maybe during that one, but you're too late for that one. <laughs> and you can't come see it tomorrow because it's sold out. <laughs> Gosh. Anyway. I think we should get started, don't you? My notes are your program. Why the fuck am I even here? You're welcome. I mean, it's dark. You can't read in the dark. I'm your eyes. Aw. It's like a poem. I'm gonna write that one later tonight in bed. So let's get New Works in Terabang, New Works, night 13 started, yeah? yeah. Our first performance is presented by my biggest fan, Whitney Matheson. And I'm actually reverting to my phone because Whitney sent me a note. I only have one working finger to use on my phone and has a fake nail on it. Bear with me. There it is, I have it pulled up. I'm a professional. <clears throat> so this is a um, one act play called Denny Barracuda. Um, it's written by Whitney. It's directed by Shannon Goldman and co-produced by Dean Haspiel. That's right. Yes. Good for me. Um, our performers, very exciting. Our performers are Madeline Morell and Lawrence Trailer. <laughs> Lawrence is the one who asked me for the finger of Evan Williams. Oh. Just so you know. Yeah. Um, and Whitney would like you. That first row. <laughs> Fun. See you in a bit. And Whitney would like you to know that she's thrilled. Are your pronouns she, her, Whitney? Yes. Yeah. Whitney is thrilled that Denny is making its debut at the Bricks New Works Festival, and so are we, Whitney. Everyone enjoy Denny Barracuda. Samita, uh, yeah, welcome. C come in, if that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Can I uh, can I take your jacket? Uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm not used to this, as you can tell. Only assholes and germaphobes are used to this kind of thing, so <laughs> you're good. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take my jacket. And uh, I got the rest. Yeah. So we'll be here. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's a, that's yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> I figured since it's next to a window and there's the air purifier. I love uh, it. So for the first hour, I'm going to need a hundred dollars up front. Oh, you're wow. Whoa. Oh, I think it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you're there. So the windows open. You know, we're far apart. You can take yours off too, but only if you feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet mustache. <laughs> uh, 
so there's uh, there's rooftop access mm -hmm. also. It's, the view's beautiful, but I, I'm, I'm terrified well, of heights. Like I was saying, it's 100 for the first hour. I'm going to need that up front. But we can discuss later. If yeah, you want gosh, of course. Uh, oh, oh um, no paper, please. Can you just zap it? Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Clearly, I'm a little, little scattered mm -hmm. here. My username is Denny Barracuda. <laughs> it might be easier if you took the gloves off. <laughs> So uh, it's uh, uh, Denny Barracuda. Oh, yeah, it's um, D E N Y Barracuda. That's B A W R A C U D A. Oh, yeah, got, yeah, got you right here. Uh, $100 sent. Great! And we're off to the races! Oh! <laughs> Whoa, uh, yeah, so uh, everything's really clean. It's, it's just been, uh, it's just been me here for 11 months. And it's not like I've gone out to see anybody or anything, so. <laughs> I'm the first person you've seen in 11 months? Well, yeah, yeah. well in, in person. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, 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 it's totally okay. So, um, then what have you been doing here this whole time? Pandemic self-portraits, still life with hand sanitizer, uh, or... I tried this a couple times on, on Zoom, but it's it's not the same, you know. But I'm, I'm good. I'm okay. I, this isn't my day job or anything. But, um, what is your day job? Uh, I work... IT for a bank. Huh. That's um. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, can, can I? Um, can I get you? Are you? Are you good? Are you okay? Are, are you... Loaded question in these times, but yeah, yeah, I'm great. Yeah, I don't know are if you, you model okay? a lot or. Oh, I model never. Really? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Well, these will be like short gesture poses mostly. So, um, just let me know if you need a break or. Anything, really. <laughs> you got me hummus? <laughs> I have a heavy hummus craving all of a sudden. Yeah, uh... What? what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, William. <laughs> You're good, yeah. Um, just tell me how you want me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, so I guess uh, turn slightly to your to your right. Yes, stop right. Yep. A chin up. Just keep your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, if you never do this, what do you do for money? Well, in the before times, I worked at a small theater on Dean Street. Not too far from here, actually. Um, they paid me for about a month after quarantine started, but then they had to let me go. I get it, you know. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. You know what? Actually, could you move your left hand like three inches up? Yeah. Little. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, so now you. Now I do this. Meaning. <laughs> Odd jobs. I'm a, a job skipper, yeah, gig so. juggler, yeah. task bouncer. I'm on all the apps. That's how people find me. That's how you found me, right? <laughs> uh, so what other gigs have you juggled? <laughs> well, um, last week a woman paid me to write a breakup letter to her boyfriend. No. Yeah. I get this. <laughs> she said that she liked it so much that she changed her mind and decided to stay with the guy. <laughs> But most jobs aren't creative at all. Like just a lot of grocery store deliveries, so, just yeah. to the post office, yeah. you know, that kind of thing. Sorry. Um, this is the first gig where I've actually gone inside an apartment. You seemed really legit. Thanks. I, I, uh, I am legit. I, my credit score is impeccable. <laughs> <laughs> you also have the same thing as my dad, William. 
anyway, uh, what's your story? What's it like seeing, you know, eyes and limbs for the first time in 11 months? These days haven't been my best, to be honest. Oh, yeah? Okay, then um, tell me what you had for breakfast. Uh, raisin bran. That is your first mistake. Food is everything in a pandemic, gives you something to look forward to, and no one looks forward to soggy cardboard for you. I like raisin bran. Okay, then how about nights? Like, after work, what do you do? I don't know. I, um... I drink wine, I look at my phone, I watch a couple episodes of whatever. I, um, why, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> Last night I wrote a Villanelle. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what is that exactly? <laughs> <laughs> it's a kind of poem. Okay, do you know, uh, do you not go in, into that gentle night by um, Dylan Thomas? That's a Villanelle. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that one. Uh, well, you know, you have to start to mix things up, or you feel it in your bones, you know? Like, um, one Sunday, I walked across the Manhattan Bridge into the city, and then across the Brooklyn Bridge back home, and it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, another day, I went to that house in Clinton Hill where Walt Whitman lived. <laughs> Do you know that one? It's not that much to look at, but he did write leaves of grass there, so that's got to count for something. Your right? hands. <laughs> Sorry. A, Sorry. A... Sorry. <laughs> so what did you have for breakfast? Pumpkin cream cheese on a chocolate chip waffle. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Yeah, I'm thinking you're not wrong. <laughs> Excellent work. Thank you. You can uh, you can get dressed now. Uh, you still have a lot of time left. Did I do something wrong? Was it the hand thing? I can be a statue. Check it out. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better model. I um. I just realized. Talking to you made me think about things, like other things I should probably be doing now instead. Uh, but you didn't even draw my face. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I can't give you a refund. If I give you $20, would you call my father? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't say much. Just. Make sure he's okay. Be easier than writing a break breakup letter. <laughs> well, maybe not by much. We haven't we haven't spoken in um, six years. His name's Carl. Um. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Twenty bucks. Just yeah. Zap it to my phone. Yeah. Uh, a sec. So, so I, I figure you, you could pretend to be like someone from his doctor's office, or mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like just as long as you just don't mention my name, you just yeah. can't, you just can't say anything that you know me, or yep. it's really important that you yeah. don't, because um, cool. yeah, he's all right, got it, Dad, please. Yeah.
No, no, I'm not his girlfriend. I'm just a friend. Yeah, 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 he has a great job. Um, he's also a really amazing artist, you know. Yeah, 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 his drawings are really incredible. You should see them sometime. Well, it was, it was great talking to you, sir. I'll tell him that. Hang in there, okay? I think that's a great attitude to have at a time like this. Okay, all right. All right, bye Carl. Carl's a cool cat. He wants you to call him sometime. Carl used to beat the shit out of me. You wanna change the light bulb? I'll give you 10 bucks, I'm terrified of heights. Yeah, yeah, sure, 10 bucks. Just zap it to my phone. Great. Okay, so then, um, what's next? Do you want me to water your plants? I have, I have one plant, and it's a, it's a cactus. I could rearrange your books by color. No, thank you. Um, I'll teach you how to count Korean, or, uh, ooh, I make this really amazing omelet with, like, tomatoes and just a little bit of Danny, I need you to get rid of everything in this box. It's going to be $100. Jesus. Um, well, you what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, if it's a human head, it's going to set you back at least a grand. <laughs> Do you want to watch? No, no, no. I'm in charge. Where's the bathroom? Wait, <laughs> wait, Denny. I, I was just, I was kidding. I, I was, I was just kidding. You, you come out of the bathroom. Can, can you hear me? Uh, stop. Don't do it. Uh, I was just joking around. Just please come out of the bathroom, Denny. I'll give you a hundred dollars just to come out of the bathroom and give me the box back, okay? I'll give you two hundred dollars just to come the fuck out of the bathroom and give me back my fucking box! All, all, all of it. That's all. It's all gone. These days, uh, these months, they're they're killing me, Denny. I I hate this apartment. I hate my clothes. I hate my job. Uh, all the TV shows start to look the same. It's like all the days they look the same, and I I I, I, I wish you met me before this. I. I I was interesting. I, I I went to dinners. And I had friends. I, most of them left months ago. I, I went to art openings, and I, I made. I made people laugh at work, and now it's all gone. It's, it's all gone, 11 fucking months, and it's all gone, and 
And what, what, what do I have to show for it? I, I have, I got a bunch of faces sketches. I have a bunch of faceless sketches. Would you like to hear my villanelle now? <laughs> <laughs> what? My villanelle. The poem I wrote. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please. talk about is what gets me through the day. Not coffee, work, a sunny sky, or the soft glow on a screen. All I need is what you know and what we never say. Do you remember how it felt to sit and watch a play? Or after when we'd go to bars and recap every scene? The one thing we don't talk about is what gets me through the day. I wish I knew how much longer life would be this way. Just this morning, on the news, they talked of a vaccine. All I need is what you know, and what we never said. Somehow summer turned into a marathon of gray. Time has melted into this repetitive routine. The one thing we don't talk about is what gets me through the day. We still hang out on the phone in our own weird way, but no more movies, weekend parties, or indoor fine cuisine. All I need is what you know and what we never say. This last year has felt like matches tossed in gasoline. <laughs> but through the lens of time with you, it's been happy and serene. The one thing we don't talk about is what gets me through the day. All I need is what you know and what we never say. So that's a villanelle. And you wrote that last night? I finished with this morning. For chocolate chip waffles. <laughs> Come on, let's get to the roof before it gets dark. Not right now? Yeah! I don't have an accessible roof in my building. Just um, an old couple that listens to golf at full volume. <laughs> Uh, just one, one more thing, Benny. Uh, no, no, no more transactions. I'm off the clock, man. The juggler can go diddle themselves. Uh, no, it's the, the sun. I want to see if I can take a take a picture of your face so I can I can finish later. I'd be honored. juggler can go diddle themselves. <laughs> Indeed, my favorite line in the show. <clears throat> Whitney, I have a question. Oh, golly, yeah. Did Lawrence already have the mustache or did he grow it for the show? <laughs> he 